training. I trained for two months. It was like June 6th or something. That's when the race began. Yeah. I think it was... Was it over in like uh, June? I thought it was like June 2nd. June Might have been first that. and 2nd or something. It was June, beginning of June. And I was actually... It was literally the weekend before we left on our huge trip with yeah, Mr. Yeah, so it was e. like the Ragnar was Friday, Saturday, and then we yeah. left on Monday. Yeah. And I was <laughs> so stressed about that because, um, well, once I accomplished Ragnar, I was like, I want to run a half marathon. And then we left on the trip, and it was like, there's no way I was going to even go running. Were you at least running. like, I want to keep running. I wanted to keep running, and we couldn't even do that because, it, well... We were in scary places. And yeah, uncomfortable. Uh, uncomfortable, scary places. And I would have been by myself running because we had all the kids with us and Michael. It was no like more built-in babysitters. Yeah, it was. Speaking of that. <laughs> so, but the day of the race uh, came. We yeah. went and stayed the night. Uh, we got all together the night before and we had dinner at a yep. place. And I don't remember where. And we all got flash t-shirts. That's right. And it was at a pizza place, Firehouse Pizza Subs or yeah, something. Yeah, I just remember it was pizza and it was good. It was really good. And it was... And then we stayed the night at someone's house. At Who's Derek Miller's house. That's right, Miller's house. And we had... A r I was so nervous. I was just dying. Oh, it was really hard. I Okay, that was one of the... There are certain things that I feel like we've done since I've been an adult that just have terrified me mm -hmm. things i would not do if i didn't think they were good for me and it was really just a fear that was irrational and it was something that would be good for me if i got over it you know that was one of them the other thing was scuba diving which we also did you forced yeah, me <laughs> i did <laughs> at that same time too right before that actually it, w it had to have been it was before that it was. It was earlier that same spring because we went and did the treasure hunt down so at So let's San finish Paolo. talking about Ragnar and then let's talk about scuba diving. Okay. So, so Ragnar. trying new things. Yes, trying new things. things. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whew. It's like overwhelming thinking about it, but in such a good way. Yeah. These are good things. Like well, because it pushes us things. outside of our comfort zone. Because it's as too an easy adult, just to get caught in the same you just rut. I mean, when you go to public school or any school, really, I feel like the teachers are there to motivate, to push, to make you try new things that you would never do on your own. Um, but once you become an adult, you don't have those people there just pushing you and making you do these things that are hard all the time. I think a lot of times adults get into something, a pattern, a routine yeah. that's comfortable. And, and then they never stick with that. Because why leave it. not? Right. If it's comfortable, if it's beneficial to you, you know, or if at one time it helped you and... Now it's holding you back, but you don't even realize it, you know? Right. So, um, so we push ourselves outside of uh, the comfort zone. All the time. It's so <laughs> stressful and so good. <laughs> mm -hmm.